Hey, thanks for checking out my video today, guys. Today, I want to go over with you guys how to um, download a STL file. So that's download a file that's a 3D printed file, basically, and send it to a 3D printing uh, website where they'll actually print that, that file out for you and then give you a price on it and uh, you get to pick what type of material, what color you'd like it, and then they'll give you a price and they'll mail it to you. So I thought I'd go over this whole process. Um, I actually, before I bought a 3D printer, I actually had something printed myself and I went through the same um, ordeal to get uh, this this printed. Now uh, this is a, um, a holder for for the Oculus Touch controllers, and as you can see right there, uh, there's one of the controllers uh, in the actual thing. There's nothing out there for this, and I found this on a uh, website that you could download the files for free. Uh, now, not all STL files are free, but I'm going to show you a, a website where you can download Nintendo Switch stuff uh, for free and then send it to another website and have them print that out for you. So, let's get right into it. So what we want to do is we want to go to a website called Thingiverse, and it is called Thingiverse.com. And what you need to do is, is we want to enter Nintendo, Nintendo Switch, for example. Click Enter. Now it's going to bring up a whole bunch of um, different files for Nintendo Switch. So we're going to want to... We're going to want to just scroll through these until we find... Uh, one that we like. So uh, one of the real popular, um, there's the knives that I, the switch blades I did a, a, a video on. Um, there's a miniature dock right here. Another popular one. A bunch of stands for your Nintendo Switch. Just a whole bunch of different stuff. You just got to be patient. There's a lot of pages of um, different things that you can print. You could have vases done, uh, like a vase that you'd put flowers in. You could have uh, 3D, you know, uh, spinners, you know, made. Just, if you can think of it, it's probably on here already. Uh, guns from Destiny and different um, things like that. You can even print Legos out. So the list is pretty much endless as to what you can actually print. So uh, let's just keep scrolling through here and find something that we want to print so where's that keychain at okay so we got the keychain we're gonna download the folder and I'm gonna click up now I'm gonna go down here and find this Nintendo switch key ring okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click I'm gonna zip those files and extract files click OK so now my file popped up I'm going to double click on files and I actually want to take this this file right here and what I need to do is I'm actually going to transfer that file right to my desktop. It's just going to be easier for me to do it this way. So I put it right on my desktop. Now I can shut this folder down and I can shut that down. Now I want to go back to our browser and what we're going to do is you're going to go to your search browser and you're going to type in 3D hubs. Click search and one of the first things that'll pop up is 3D hubs browse online 3D printing services. You're going to want to click that. So we'll click the first option there. Click 3D hubs. And now you'll see that it's the main page here. So what we want to do is we want to browse 3D printing services. And now what I need to do is I need to take my part that I put on the desktop and I'm going to just plop it right into that that area where it's telling you to upload your part to. So we're just waiting for it to finish downloading the part to their servers. And I guess the bigger the file, the longer it'll probably take. Depends on how fast your internet, you know, connection is. A whole bunch of different things. But we can see that it's downloading. It's almost done here, so. 
and it's asking what we're printing for so I'm just gonna click personal and 0 to 100 would you like to get material recommendations for your part and you can click yes or no for me I already know what material I want that part printed in most of the stuff you're going to want to have printed in PLA. It's a type of plastic. It's one of the most common plastics that 3D printers print in, and it's going to be the cheapest for you. Um, I would not recommend having anything printed in ABS. It's a little bit harder to have printed, and a lot of times your results can vary. So PLA is going to be the very easiest thing for you to actually print. Okay, so now we have our, um, our STL file onto here. So we want to scroll down. Let me enlarge this page a little bit. So we want to scroll down and we're going to select the material in PLA. And you can see it says a bunch of options come up here. PLA FDM plastic. We're going to click that. And now what we need to do is you'll see that we have a bunch of different uh, 3D uh, printing stores basically. So you can just pick which person you want to have uh, print your stuff. What I would suggest to do is enter your location into here. So enter what your city and state is and then click enter and then a bunch of different um, different printers, you know, uh, places will actually pop up for you. You just print, print, you know, pick the one that you want. So it's telling me where this guy is. Um, now we're going to print a uh, pick material again. So PLA. 385 and then you can actually select the color that you want so there's a whole bunch of different colors I'm just gonna pick uh, red for this one so let's just find a red here um, and then there's different microns so the smaller the the microns the finer the material is gonna be I honestly would recommend just doing something around maybe 200 microns something in that neighborhood I think you'd be fine and looks like he doesn't have red so if they don't have the color that you want always just back back out pick another uh, supplier and um, let's see if we can pick somebody else since he doesn't have red that's kind of what I want yeah so what we'll do is we'll pick the, pick the next guy we'll see what he has now and see, he's a little bit more. So the last guy was like three seventy-five to have that part printed. This guy wants six dollars. That's fine, whatever. So we're just looking for something that's red. And there we go, red. So now this is the quote that we got: six dollars and fifteen cents. Um, he's saying that it can be ready by tomorrow, and you only pay for it once your order is complete. So once you submit this. So we'll click next there and you can add you know comments into here saying hey look I want this part I need it to be strong I'm going to be using it to play Nintendo Switch or whatever the part is that you're actually having made you just want to put some notes in there so the person that's printing the part will know how to make it how strong to make it uh, there's something called infill so basically um, instead of this part actually being hollow there's what we call infill in there. So on this particular part, I have around 20% infill. That's pretty standard. So for the most part, you're going to want to ask for something that's probably around 20% if you have a option to. Obviously, the more infill you have, the more expensive it's going to be and the longer it's going to take to have that part printed. So you could ask for 100% infill. That means that this part's going to be printed completely solid. Although I don't know that it's going to need to be um, printed solid. That's up to you. That's only going to raise the price of the part that you're actually having made. So just keep that in mind. So we would add some notes there and then we're going to click next. And then now I'm asking for, they're asking for a delivery method. So we'll just click ship to me. We'll type in what type of, uh, you know, shipping we want. Click next. And then you just enter in all your information here and then click send order request now that will actually send that order to that printing hub and they will actually respond back to you letting you know if there's any stipulations in the order if they can fulfill it how long it'll take 
um, all that stuff. If they have any questions, they can then ask you for all that stuff. So that's pretty much it. I think you may need to actually sign up on 3D Hubs to be able to finish all this up. So it's saying here, create a new account or have already have an account. So yes, you do need to actually sign up for this. It's free to do it, but then you can have parts printed if you need to. So that's pretty much it. I hope this got, this video helped you guys out. I know there was a lot of people asking, where can I get these parts? Can you make them for me? No, I, I honestly, I can't make them for you because I'm not allowed to take that file and print it out and sell it to somebody. There is stipulations, the person that uploaded that part to Thingiverse, they can say, look, I don't want anyone to print this out for commercially. They don't want people making money off of those parts. This website has the legal right to do that um, and they're charging you and it's being worked through a third party. That's the way they're able to do that. So this is all legal, this is legit. You're not gonna get in trouble for any of, you know, having any of these parts made from a website called like this, like from 3D Hub. So, okay, so that's it guys. Uh, if this video helped you out, if you could, please leave a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.